Hello, welcome to Jonesy's vlog. Uh, I'm going to start off by saying sorry if you can hear lots of bangs outside. Obviously, it's bonfire night on Monday, so there's a lot of fireworks going off tonight, as there has been all week, which is absolutely stupid, but there we go. Um, so, yes, I apologise if uh, it's a bit noisy outside, but hopefully we'll, uh, we'll manage to get through this. Um, two topics tonight, two completely different. Going to react to uh, last night's Leeds-Brighton game, uh, mainly Gus Poyet's comments afterwards, and then going to talk about the comedy gig that I actually was at last night, uh, where I went to see Simon Evans. Um, so, yes, uh, Leeds drew to all with Brighton last night at the Amex, live on Sky. Um, watched the game today, by the way, for before people start coming on saying, you know, you can't comment if you haven't seen it. Well, I did, I watched it today, so there we go. Um, very disappointing obviously uh, not the result the result was fantastic because really we didn't deserve anything out of the game uh, tackling was atrocious didn't seem like we could string two passes together midfield there was just nothing from there uh, no really attacking threat up front until Becky O came on and obviously got his goal um, then had a few more chances which was nice to see but still he's got his haters uh, on Twitter but we won't get into that now um, but yes, mainly Gus Poyet's comments after the game. Uh, now, I, I love the man. I absolutely love Gus Poyet. Um, I think he's a great manager. And I've always said, you know, if, if we ever lose another match, I'd love him back at Leeds. Um, he did fan it was clear that he was the brains uh, behind the outfit when it was him and Wise in charge all those years ago. So, yeah, absolutely loved the guy. Always found him really uh, funny. Always found him very... Um, uh, good in interviews um, obviously last night he was going to be disappointed with how the game went because Brighton deserved the win you know uh, they had lots of chances um, but he just decided to come out all attack against uh, Leeds and Warnock um, to say that we went there not to play football is quite harsh you know we we didn't play well that's fair enough Brighton deserved to win but you know we, we played clearly to get the draw in the end you know we, we battled and fought back for the two all draw um, it wasn't pretty but we got the point which you know it's a results based industry isn't it football um, so to say that we didn't come to play football uh, was very harsh I thought um, the personal attack on Warnock uh, based on the uh, Luke Varney penalty incident um, claiming that it was a, a, a dive and that Warnock should ban and fine Varney. Um, first of all, you know, yes, it was a soft penalty, but there was contact there. He, you know, he grabbed his shoulder, he pushed him down. Anywhere else on the pitch, he probably wouldn't have gone down, but any forward, I'm sure, would have gone down in that situation. Um, so to say it was a dive is very unfair. Yes, he went down uh, theatrically. Uh, but I'm sure a lot of forwards, a lot of players would do that anyway. Um, but to call uh, Warnock a hypocrite that if it would have happened the other way around just seemed a bit of a personal attack really. And it just came across very, um, oh, what's the word, it just came across very desperate from, from Gus really, which was disappointing to see. Um, so yes, as for Leeds United themselves, you know, big game on Tuesday against Burnley. Hopefully we can we can bounce back after that performance, I mean in the league we haven't really seen a good performance for quite a few matches now um, you know we need to see more performances like we did against Southampton so hopefully we can take that to Burnley who are in great form with Charlie Austin at the moment so uh, yeah a big win there would be fantastic so that's Leeds United part out of the way so yes last night I went to the City Varieties to see uh, comedian Simon Evans who I first saw a couple of years ago when I went to see Lee Mack and Simon was a support there and I came out laughing more at Simon's act than I did at Lee Max and I absolutely love Lee Mac um, so that really is saying something but Simon was fantastic that night um, he was then on Michael McIntyre's Comedy Roadshow last year or the year before he was great on that, seen him on Mock the Week since um, heard him on a few uh, comedy podcasts as well and I think he's just a very very underrated uh, comedian to be honest and, and needs uh, needs a lot more airtime um, and a few more people to be aware of him because he really is a very clever witty comedian for people who don't know who he is uh, there's a quick quick clip here thank you thank you very much a couple of things about myself now a few of you are thinking this is all very well but where are his eyes <laughs> i do have 
realise I can see out. It can appear under stage lighting that there is no more than a couple of crude knife slits pushed into my face. <laughs> but no. Fully functioning eyes, I can see out. They've always been small. I was teased as a child. Piggy little eyes, eyes like pistols in the snow. <laughs> Seen bigger eyes on a potato. <laughs> Mother could be very cruel. <laughs> Still, she's in a home now. <laughs> Somewhere. Well, I say home, it's more of a self-storage facility, really, but... <laughs> you're just paying for the name otherwise, aren't you? It's ridiculous. Heard a new one recently. I went to have contact lenses fitted. Couldn't be done, obviously. Not enough room. <laughs> Didn't even try this chap. He took one look at me. He said, stone me, my chap size bigger than that. <laughs> Which I thought was a bit unnecessary, to be honest. <laughs> So as you can see there, Simon has a very uh, clever, witty sort of middle class persona to his act, which really is fantastic, you know, if you if you actually get the act, um, which everyone at the City Varieties did last night. It was such a fantastic audience. It was probably about three quarters full, but that didn't matter. It, it really was great. It was such a lovely atmosphere. We were very much bouncing off each other. Um, I was sat on the front row and you could see Simon enjoying it which he said on Twitter afterwards, you know, he said he really enjoyed it and that he's, uh, he's wanting to make the City Varieties um, a regular on his tour dates, which is, is fantastic to uh, to see as well. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, he's got this way of, he's a really good storyteller, um, which isn't all of his acts, you know, he, he kind of tells stories but also includes very quick and witty comments within that and, and uh, quick jokes as well, um, which really keeps it flowing. Um, and that's probably what I enjoy most about his act. Um, he also springs a few uh, surprises in there. He'll draw you down one way and then he'll hit you with something else, which is, is really, really great. Um, and then afterwards he said he was selling some of his uh, own comedy uh, stand-up CDs for a fiver. Um, so I was lucky enough to go along and uh, and he, he actually signed, signed my copy. Uh, so it was an absolute uh, pleasure to, to go and see him last night but it was a pleasure to meet him afterwards a real gentleman a real nice guy you know it looks like he really loves what he does um, so I urge people out there if you, if you haven't seen him before please do go see him if you get the chance you'll absolutely love it you know really really worth the money um, so yes go see Simon Evans um, so yes that's the end of this vlog a bit of a strange one tonight guys I know that um, but I'll probably be back with you tomorrow discussing some other shit that I ramble about. Um, so yeah, still thank you so much for for viewing. The figures are still still going up day day by day, which is fantastic. Um, so keep spreading the word, and I'll speak to you soon, guys.